parents are literate. Explanation is hard. For example, if my father is on territory, I'll find a hard time in explaining to me about cooking, mandazi, cooking chapati in the kitchen. This, that is something that is that cannot happen and it will never happen. It's expensive for parents since running the curriculum is highly demanding. Like today they want this, tomorrow they want this. And also, it has led to wastage of time to the teachers since they have to go back to learn on how to teach the new curriculum. And as you see that most of the teachers are trained in the 844 system. The challenges that we encounter in CBC are about the exams. At first, in grade 1 to 5, we used to have structured exam. We did not have choices. We got used to that one, but now in grade 6, we are being brought objective exams. But now we don't know how to, we, we are not used to it, so we don't know how to answer with them. Because in CPC, we were told that only you just need to think about the question, and on the thing that you say, it's correct. But now the objective, the answer you have, it's not the one that is in the choices. You don't know what to do. So it's better at start. If you are starting with structure, let it remain up to grade 6 and finish with it. If it is objective, let the young one start with it until they finish. We only have 35 minutes for a lesson. The activities needed to be carried out in a lesson are many that can't be complete in one lesson. Thus, it is very difficult to complete syllabus. Second, an, uh, an availability of resources. Most of the strands require of computer. Most of our schools do not have computers and there is no electricity. Mundo, msingi, wa CPC mtaala huu, hai kuangasia saidi kuhusu maitaji au masomo inaelekeso na mwana kwa wali mtoto ambayo ana maitaji maalu. Bengine aoni, Pengine ana cerebral palsy, visually impaired, au pengine labda hapo deaf and dumb. CBC ni mzuri, but watu wengi hawaelewi. Especially here in Arok, eh, wazazi wengi pia bado wanalalamika. One, mwe, kuna watoto wengi wanaambiwa tumieni simu, hizi kubwa kubwa, na hiyo in Arok sio watu wote wamezoma na sio watu wote wako na hizo simu. So ningependa kama inawezekana hizo hizo workshops ijengwe ili watoto wasomee shule ikwa ili yani ile watoto wote wakuwe na ile uniformity CBC ilipoingia maybe it was implemented so fast iliharakishwa ile hali pengine mwalimu hakuwa tayari kwa hivyo tunahitaji walimu wa wa waelimishwe wa waelimishwe kabisa kwa sababu ni kweli ya kwamba kuna walimu ambaye hawaelewi na kwanza walimu ambaye wako kule kule mashinani wengi hawajaelewa kwa hivyo wanafaa kuelimishwa kabisa ningependa ku propose kwamba at least kwa hii system mpya ya CPC wasazi waweze kuelimishwa vilivyo because kwizi mzazi anaambiwa Nataka upatie mtoto nyanya akuje naye kwa shule kesho. Na hata msasi kapta hajui hiyo nyanya inakaa aje. Especially in the rural areas. Alafu kuna pesa pia inakuwa involved kununua hiyo nyanya ndio mtoto aweze kwenda naye shule ili waweze kufundishwa. Wakati mwingine wanaambiwa kuja na kuku na hiyo kuku lazima inuliwe mahali. Kwa hivyo ningependa kama tutaendelea na hii system ya CPC waacha serikali provide enough teaching tools kwa mwalimu na kwa msasi this system i don't i, I really don't believe that it is it's a bad system personally if you are to ask me on a personal point of view i think it is just a teething problem that we have you hear children say it is expensive it is expensive because uh in narrow if you are to ask me and i've seen the principal of narrow high that is a school that i attended from one to from four if if, if you are to tell me to go to a place called Mara, to go look for some chicken so that it can be slaughtered, and then we can get only the liver, probably that, that could be hard for me because first of all, probably where I come from, the community I come from, we don't have chicken. Unless you tell me to go slaughter a whole cow or a goat, then I'll bring the, the, the liver uh, all hazardly when, when it is still bleeding. 
So again, what I'm trying to say is that uh, it is something that we have to look at because a number of schools, particularly in the remote areas, some of these practical might be very hard to, to really implement. Why? I mean, in our country, we are not well distributed in terms of resources and even in terms of construction of schools and even the materials that are valuable there. But I think, Professor, because I have been told and I have followed you and your team, Dr. Gidinji and the team, I have no doubt in my mind that you being there, you will take our proposals and really let's just try to see how it will work. 